Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Do you think that you're a master of Tetris? Do you believe that you are the king of Dr. Mario? Well, none of that matters, because this was Sega's ultimate puzzle game. Well, that in columns. Although this and columns are actually quite similar. Connect a certain amount of certain colors, blah, 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 and make shit disappear. But on Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, it's not just about getting rid of all the crap on the screen. Oh no, it's about defeating your opponent. And I think that's where this game really stands out. You've got to beat the computer at puzzle work. Obviously, the AI in this game starts off to be pretty stupid, but becomes a goddamn genius near the end of it. And to make things even more interesting, this puzzle game has a story. The evil Dr. Robotnik has invaded Beanville and taken over the Bean people, and he's trying to turn them into Bean robots, which is effing stupid. And by the end of this story, you should be pretty sick of the word Bean. But that wasn't a problem for the people in Japan, because in Japan, it was called... Puyo Puyo. And in my opinion, it looked a hell of a lot better. Or I, I have no fucking idea what's going on in this story. But again, puzzle game. I don't really care. Not to mention, I think the music in Puyo Puyo is actually better than the music in Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine. I mean, just check this out. See what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. The gameplay on both versions is exactly the same. If you'd like to see somewhere where it's different, well then how about Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on the Master System? Story-wise, it's quite faithful to the Mega Drive one, and for 8-bit, it actually looks pretty damn good. And gameplay-wise, yeah, I know, you're expecting it to be crap, but it's actually not. It's just as fun, it works really well, and I know the little Poyo Blob Bean fuckers, whatever you want to call them, their eyes are just black dots now, like Tintin or some shit, but they actually look cuter this way in my opinion. I actually prefer that. They kind of look like severed Hello Kitty heads, which is something I'm totally okay with. Nowadays, if you want to play something like this, you can actually play it against a friend, and they can be playing Tetris at the same time, thanks to that Puyo Puyo Tetris, because once again, Sega didn't hold back, and they gave you something awesome. Only, once again, they've given you story on a puzzle game, and more than ever, no one gives a fuck. It's one of them games that can be dead fun with a friend, but when you're playing it on your own, yeah, you kind of get so far and then you get pretty bored. And when I say so far, fortunately, you do get passwords. But unfortunately, they're fucking stupid. I mean, how am I meant to write that down, hey? What, what, am I meant to get a pen and paper and draw it? Um, am I supposed to write down yellow Puyo Puyo every time one of these fuckers pops up in the password? But whatever, the game's fun, the game's stupid. I honestly don't know why they felt like they needed to change it to something about Dr. Robotnik rather than keep it in its own unique story thing. But I suppose if you want to get technical, it's probably just due to the fact that back then, everyone was scared that they were making stuff too Japanesey, so they thought they would slap Robotnik on it just to help with sales, and chances are it did. I should imagine everyone bought this back in the day because it was Sonic related. Anyway, what more can be said about this thing? It's a puzzle game, it's good fun. Maybe one of these days, I'll actually beat it. Not fucking likely.